What's up, guys? Not to underscore here. With also Max, because reasons. And uh, we are finally back. I have been gone like twice now on two similarly long unannounced hiatuses. This time, I, I actually have a reason. Uh, I was sick. I had a head cold for all of last week. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I got better like two days ago. And I was like so good enough to go to school and everything, but I just did not sound good. Uh, and speaking of the way I sound, we might be a little echoey right now because mm. we're in Max's basement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice basement, I think. Yeah, it's a good basement. Pretty echoey, though. Uh huh. A little acoustic y, but not terrible. Uh, and we are going to fight Lieutenant Surge. Oh, nice. Who has a nickname. Did you know that, Max? Really? Uh huh. People refer to him as the Lightning American. That's odd. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Bird and water type Pokemon match poorly against the electric type. Why, why, why does it say bird? Like, hmm. don't. It's. Just, they're flying types. I wonder where um, these gentlemen sitting around the room. Okay, so these guys are the ones that we have to fight. Oh, uh, I see. Here's a sailor. Remember, these guys are always really cool. Oh, yeah. This is no place for kids. <laughs> Not even if you're good. Oh, he's so weird. They're yeah, all so weird. Yeah, it's just like stinted. And I have Leo out because of training. But hey, that was actually a really good bite. Nicely oh, wow. done, Leo. Good you work. got paralyzed, but <laughs> no here's big another deal. Pikachu. Just mow him down, because Pikachu is awful. Actually, Cut is the strongest thing he has now. I taught wow. that to Leo off cam because oh, he is currently not the best member of my team. And that's usually how I decide who gets to use Cut. Feel you. All right, so I'm going to switch into the main event, who's Scooter. I taught him Dig. I'm just gonna fight all these guys first. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. You don't look like a lightweight. Sir. No, you are. You are a portly young man. Okay, well that, that's. Wait, that is definitely different than what yeah, you look like. Yeah, you were not wearing a hard hat before. Or a yellow suit. Uh huh. Well, he's an engineer, you know. It's you know, just it's, how he do. It looked like he was wearing a white white beater, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. He kind of just looks like a big dump. Yeah. I also like how he um, says, "I'm not a lightweight, but I'm good," or "I am a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity," as if like being skinny automatically makes you a bad engineer. Yeah. Like, what's up with that? Uh huh. Who's All right. Oh, he's buried. Yeah, he's got a level 23 yeah. Pikachu that oh, wow. died immediately. Also, static. Do I have paralyzed heal on me? Uh, is there a separate medicine pocket in this generation? There is not. So all my stuff is here. I'm a little bit... Okay, there's not. I'm going to go back in here. I'm a little disoriented on this, not only because I haven't played it in, like, three weeks. Sorry. I, I'm a bad YouTuber, but I didn't lose any subscribers, though. Yay! Um, because, for those of you who don't know, the console releases of Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow came out a little while ago. And that's, that's basically, Max, this game, hmm. um, but the way it was released in 1996 in Japan. Oh, that's, that's tasty. That, yeah, it's very tasty, mm. and I've been playing it nonstop on my DS. I got it, far, or, yeah, I got it far after uh, I started this series, but I still... Oh, sweet, there's a switch under the trash, turn oh, it nice. on, and I believe that means the other one has to be here. Oh. Away. Okay, so the the dumb thing about this room is that people is, will notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these little um, trash cans, two of them have switches underneath them, oh. and I think the switches are always like one uh, away from each other. Oh, okay. So, so I that I just got this one. That should be. We're there. pointing to the screen or here. Oh. I'm gonna see if I'll, I'll fall for that again. Yeah, uh, yeah, that sometimes takes hours. Oh, wow. But anyway, the console releases came out, and I've been playing those nonstop. I'm currently farther in there than I am now. Oh, wow. I'm at, like, getting ready for the fifth gym. Oh, This geez. is number three. Okay. So I'm very far into those, and I have, like, a Gen 1 mindset. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so I'm at the point where I'm like, Oh, hmm. right. Confused about the motion pocket. Uh, yeah, that and a bunch of other things, too, because yeah. Generation 1 was... Awful. Oh, whoa, you just destroyed Yeah, dig, Voltorb man. is awful. Pikachu is also Nuts. awful. A paralyzing, which I meant to do, I meant to fix that, is also awful. Uh, and now he's got a Raichu, level 24. Oh, like a kangaroo Pikachu. Yeah, it's the evolved form of Pikachu. Weird. Um, but anyway, a bunch of things are different and awful. <laughs> oh, wow. What happened? <laughs> Oh, I just want to KO'd all of his Pokemon. Oh he sucks. Dude, really? Lieutenant Surge? Yeah, he's the Lightning American. I didn't give him a voice, but here we go. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. 
I received TM-34 from Lieutenant Surge and put it in the TM case. TM-34 can send Shockwave. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. Lieutenant Surge put up less of a fight than everyone before him. Yeah. I started out Southern, but ended up like this. Duffman! Duffman! <laughs> Duffman! Oh, nice. Uh, so, a bunch of things are different and wrong with Gen 1. For really? one thing, uh... I remember teaching you about this right before Max plays Pokemon because I'm a geek and I wanted you to be a geek too, Max. I see. I feel you. Uh, so I taught you about how there's 18 types, right? I know that. In Gen 1, there were 15. Oh. Um, I also taught you that there are six stats in Gen 1. There's five. Special attack and special defense are just crammed in this, into the same one. Oh, okay. And this makes all Pokemon who use special attack uh, more often than they use regular attack. Just totally OP. Oh, okay. Um... Because <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat. Sorry. Uh, because they um, have like really good resistance to special attacks, as well as really strong special attacks. Mm. So psychic types, in particular, got really OP because of this. Mm. Uh, they fed off the special stat, so their one weakness in that generation, which was Bug, was a uh, they all moves were special. Oh. Um, and so they basically took no damage and dealt all the damage. Oh gosh. Uh, so it was essentially the most horrifying thing ever. Oh. And I have a psychic type on my team in that game that I'm playing. Oh, okay. And it is, like, the most OP thing since it evolved. It's, it's just ridiculous. Ridiculously strong, exactly, for absolutely no reason. Good God. And I love it. <laughs> it's just the best thing ever, you uh -huh. know? There are a couple of other things that make Gen 1 terrible. Uh, there's this one attack called Rap, which mm. in this generation is fine it's moderate it right, just right, yeah. it's a little bit of residual i like how you agree with me before yeah, i explain yeah. no, it yeah, at definitely. all <laughs> um it's just a little bit of residual damage okay. after every turn and it's fine but in gen one you couldn't freaking move that sounds irritating <laughs> so it's just like constant like if i was in this situation right. in gen one paralyzed against the bell sprout mm -hmm. it would use wrap on me i would be in constant damage for a while uh -oh. and then as soon as i got out of it i would try to get back in but because i'm slower and paralyzed it would just wrap me again bell sprout is just be, a little terrifying it would be this endless cycle of awful <laughs> wow that sounds just just wow yeah um so i understood little of that yeah, it's okay. Most of the people watching are Pokemon nerds, so okay. they get it. Um, so I'm very glad to be back in the system that makes sense and doesn't randomly mess you up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should go back and get supplies, because I've tried to do that twice What was now. the deal with that one house that looked like something had rampaged through it oh, time and um, time again? Yeah, Team Rocket happened to that house, Max. Oh, wow. Uh, earlier on, this was before I just brought you over because I ran out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this this guy kept on coming. This Team Rocket guy came through there, and he stole that guy's TM for Dig, mm. and so I beat him and I got it back. Oh, cool. Except I never returned it to him. I taught it to my Eradicate, <laughs> and that's how I beat Lieutenant Surge in three hits. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good to be back in this system because it makes sense. It really reminds you how Pokemon has grown over the years. It is now at its 20th anniversary, and I meant to do some for that, and I might do that. Eventually, uh, I mentioned doing a Pokemon challenge mode, mm. what uh, my buddy Pika Lord is doing. Okay. Uh huh. Um, and I haven't started that yet because head cold and. Um, you know, all the other things that happen. Yeah, head cold and the other things. Uh, crap, I forgot. How do I deal with rock types with this team? Oh, yeah, Master Roll. Of course. Of course. I just use Pursuit because they don't resist that. Um, mm. Remind me what I was talking about. I have the attention uh, span of a goldfish. Me too. Okay, perfect. I'm afraid that is how it is. So... <laughs> anyway, uh, Geodude is weird and small. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally a rock with he's, face and arms. He's got, like, really tiny biceps, but really, really big forearms. Uh-huh. Does he remind you of uh, weight training? Yes. Any good weight training one stories? Kid. Um, I don't know. I mean, that one kid who's really buff, who everybody doesn't know, mm -hmm. it, he's got pretty big forearms, but like... Oh, I just remembered. Luna has water pulse. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so that happens. Uh, that's my new way of coping with rock types. Continue okay, about that's this. Good. This. Uh, oh, he's guy. just got really big forearms. It looks nice. Well, what did, it, what did he try to sell you that one time? He tried to sell me a powder of sorts, and I don't remember, but I was scared. Oh. I didn't know what to do. He was learning faint attack. It's 
Cut this. That's, that's powerful. Stuff. Should I get rid of Growl or Payday? Growl, that's useless. Growl. Payday gives you money. Uh huh. All you want is money. All right. So continue. Tell us how he went about this. Tell us the origin. Okay. Story. All right. So okay. he never talked to anyone ever, except for this one time when he did talk. Talk to us, and it was really weird. And he came up to us and he started talking to us about like I don't know we were freshmen or something. And then he came out and he was like, "So, what guys? You guys want to get big?" We we're like, "Not really. Not through your methods." <laughs> and he was like, "And then so we started working out." And he was like, "Yeah, after school I can get you guys some powder." And we didn't know what powder meant. We were assuming it was a type of steroid, of sorts. But we didn't know. We were afraid. But he's cool now. We did. He doesn't try to sell us things anymore. So this guy just kind of came up to you and he's like, "Hey guys, I see that you're 14. That's a perfect age to start steroids." Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. He looks like he's 14, but he talks like he's not 14. Like <laughs> he he's talks some weird guy. Like in an, an alley. adult drug dealer. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know what those sound like. Uh huh. We like the people in our neighborhood. <laughs> Wait, Tranny, you're just a big ball of drugs. I was... A big ball of drugs. Yeah, I've repeated. No, I've been offered pot gum twice, I think. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the you first time. You want to explain to the non-Coloradans what pot gum is? Oh, because yeah. that's kind of like exclusive to our state I and a see. few others. All right, well, marijuana in gum. You feel me? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so that's a thing that happens. And uh, I didn't know about pot gum the first time I was offered it. And my friend uh, Sanchez, we, do, we call him Sanchez because we don't know his first name. but <laughs> That's super shady. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> No, he's cool. He's, he's not weird. But um, he was like, hey, Max, you want some gum? I was like, yeah, I totally trust you, Sanchez. And my friend Benny came over to me, and he was like, that's not normal gum. And he warned me of it, and I almost got super high. All right, and uh, on the next episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Monotype Run, we'll be doing that. Just kidding. Bye.